Have you ever thought about getting a limited rare edition luxury handbag versus getting the mass produced? In this video, I will be talking about some of the most limited rare bags from LV. Now that I have collected the classic bags, I wanted to focus on adding limited edition pieces to my collection. I started by doing some research on some of the rarest handbags. And what I found was the more rare the handbag, the more expensive the handbag. I ran across the most expensive handbag to date, which is this egg bag. The cost is a whopping $6.7 million. The second most expensive is this diamond heart bag. This bag is $3.8 million. Several Hermes bags made this list. Of course, they had to include the beautiful Birkin Himalayan bag. Also on the list is the Chanel Diamond Forever bag. Ironically, this is one of the least expensive bags on the list, coming in at only $261,000. I also took it back to 2007, the Marc Jacobs era, with this beautiful LV patchwork bag. This bag is selling for around $45,000. Then there was that Kusama pumpkin bag. This bag is being sold for over $100,000 on the pre-love market. And then I can't forget the million dollar Crocodile Speedy recently released. But of course, this bag is limited to only those who are trunk holders. So there was no way I was gonna get my hands on this bag. In fact, it's pretty hard to get your hands on any of these rare bags. So I had quite a few bags on my wish list that I always wanted, a couple that I have wanted ever since I was like a senior in high school or in college. So I thought, okay, let's try to get my hands on one of these bags. So the first bag is the Chanel heart bag, and this is the vintage heart bag. But I didn't realize that this bag, the price has gone up over the years on the pre-love market. And now for the color I want, I would have to come off of $50,000. So yeah, I wasn't looking for anything like that. The other bag is that gigantic LV sack bag. I always wanted this bag ever since it came out. And I, again, didn't realize that the price on the pre-love market had skyrocketed. And this bag is around $75,000. And then last, one of the more recent bags that I actually added to my wish list is the Hermes Birkin cargo bag and with this bag like many of the Hermes Birkins and Kelly's it's pretty hard to be offered the bag so I would definitely have to get this on the pre-love market and on the pre-love market this bag is going for quite a bit it's around 50,000 so basically my wish list items are still outside of the budget so I decided to get more realistic I considered getting the Chanel heart bag being that it is you know shaped like a heart like my wish list vintage heart bag that I wanted however I missed it you know when it was in the boutiques and my essay said that most of those bags got offered to the VIPs and I'm not a VIP. So I had to look on the pre-love market and the bag was going for almost $10,000 on the pre-love market at the time. So I was just not interested in paying that much. Next, I looked at the LV heart bag and this bag was released in China so i didn't even bother trying to get it and i actually didn't really like this bag so much because i did not want the color i wanted a different color and they only had it in this color or monogram and i really didn't want it in either of those colors but then i saw that lv was coming out with a ramadan capsule collection in 2023 and they had some beautiful bags like the capucine but when I saw this 
Python print made out of sequin. I fell in love. The only problem was I did not want a Kusin bag. I already had a Kusin bag in the perfect color for me. I saw this beautiful clutch and I thought this was the perfect style for me. However, I did not like the material. Then I saw that it was coming out in the beautiful python print that i wanted so i definitely had to have it i added this beautiful limited edition clutch bag to my collection the name of it is called glitter glam i did an unboxing of this bag so if you want to see go ahead and check out that video so it's been one year since i've had this bag and i have absolutely no regrets I will admit I did not use this bag as much as I thought I would have last year. My cost per wear is pretty high and I'm looking to get that down in 2024. But there was a specific reason why I didn't use it as much and that was because I actually got a lot of bags last year. I had so many to choose from that I didn't really get to wear this one as much. I probably used this bag about eight times last year. I do plan to use it a lot more this year. Even with the eight times I've used it, it's still in like new condition. I left the hardware protectors on the bag so the hardware has no stretches on it. The only con with this bag, as with all sequin bag, you really have to be careful when wearing it because you don't want it to get snagged. You don't want it to rub against your clothing and get snagged on it and maybe pull the sequin off or, you know, rip or damage your clothing, especially if you're wearing silk. Because of the sequin material, I'm kind of limited to how I can wear the bag. So basically, I only wear the bag mainly by the top handle. I also can wear it, you know, basically like a clutch under the crook of my arm, but kind of above my garment. And then the other way that I wear it is in the palm of my hand. But one thing I did realize after getting this bag is that I could actually style it with more looks than I initially thought I would. Because I initially knew that I was going to, you know, wear it to special occasion events like semi-formal, formal events. But I really wasn't thinking about wearing it with my casual looks like jeans and things like that and I actually love wearing it with those items. I started with this beautiful nylon cargo pocket skirt on last year and also I styled it with this sequin set for my birthday on last year. During the fall I started styled it with some leather looks and it was such a great combination. I can't wait to style it and wear it with some of my summer leather looks. What's next for me is I've been checking out a couple of other LV limited edition bags but I haven't made up my mind to make any purchases. I love the new trunk bags that they have came out with. They are so unique and they are a great collector's piece. Also, the new camera bag is so cute, but for me, I need something more practical. I am considering the leather Speedy, but I would like to see what other colors come out before I make a decision. Hopefully they come out with more colors in this bag. I definitely will have to assess it against my why buy criteria. Check out my previous video on why buy, why not buy limited edition pieces. Also follow me on Instagram. This is where I post most of the looks that I style. So you get to see my collection in action. Also subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be notified of future videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.